Hello, my name is Lucians and this is Nerd Relic. Today I'm going to be going over a tutorial on how to use port security on HP switches. So first let's open up Putty. Um, I already know the switch that I'll be SSHing into. So let's log in and as you can see we have a password set. So that is very useful. Uh, another layer of security that you should be employing on your uh, switches. So the first thing we do, log in. Um, I'm actually going to do show port security. And um, this will actually tell you if there's already port security turned on for any of your ports. Uh, the learn mode and action. Um, right now on port two, which happens to be this computer that I'm using, I have port security already set up on. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna configure port security for a separate port. Um, I've already identified the port, but you can also, um, if there's a, a device, uh, let's say I do know the port, port 25 happens to be um, network jack A, or depending on how you identify your ports or your network jacks in each room. Um, for example, let's say the office I'm in has several different network jacks. Uh, as soon as you enter in, on your left would be port A, B, and then next wall C, D, E, F. That's kind of how we identify it. It helps us uh, organize better. So let's say I know port A in office 100 of whatever building I'm going to be doing the uh, settings for. Now let's say that happens to be port 25 on the switch. Um, also if you have a device that you know, um, you know a device, device MAC address, this is the computer that's going to live in a certain office and you need to have that address knowledge. So let's go ahead and we have already identified the port. Um, we, I do have the MAC address, so let's do show MAC address. Um, I already know the VLAN that the device belongs to. I'm gonna go ahead and show that. So I know it's port 25. Um, let's say already, you already know the port. You know, port 25 is the one that we're gonna configure for, for so-and-so but I also know the MAC address of that specific laptop. So we want only that laptop to work on port 25 in Office 100 uh, Network Jack A. Um, so that was very specific looking for, but if you don't know where what VLAN that might rest on, maybe you just have knowledge of the MAC address, you could also do show MAC address and then you'll have to go through it and look. We know it's on port 25. Bum, 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 bum. So, wow. Yeah, that would, have, that would have taken a while. It's still going. So let's go back to here. Um, we already know that it's port 25. Let's go ahead and move on. So here, now we have to get, enter in the configuration mode. So type in config. So now we're in configuration mode. We're gonna type in port security. You can tab to autofill that. I'm gonna hit shift question mark, which is gonna give me kind of like an assist if you don't know the full um, code that you need to enter in or steps that you need to enter in. You can hit shift question mark and it'll pop up. So uh, port list. So we're gonna type in 25, shift question mark. And now you're going to go into the learn mode. So we're going to actually put in learn mode static. So what learn mode static is, it's not going to learn that MAC address until um, packets are sent. So if, if you already have, let's say you have a lab of 25 computers and you don't know the MAC address, so you can't physically enter in the MAC addresses, you could put learn mode static and it won't learn that until information is sent out. So 
So we're going to put in learn mode static. Um, next is going to be address limit. We're going to put an address limit of two. Next, we're going to have action. So what actions are going to be taken or action is going to be taken? We're going to do send alarm. All right. Um, so there we have it. We're going to hit return. And the difference between send alarm, uh, matter of fact, let me back a little question mark. You have none. So no actions will be taken. Send alarm and send disabled. So send alarm, what will happen is it's going to flag that port and say, hey, you know, this device try to access it. But if that MAC address isn't one of the learned MAC addresses and it's already reached its limit, then that device, that intruding device is not going to get any connectivity. Um, they can plug in all day long. What they can do is like, okay, let's say somebody brought in their home laptop and try to plug it into the network. Network's like, no, I don't know you. I've already reached my limit of MAC addresses, so I'm not going to give you any connectivity. What that person can do is, oh, okay, well, plug it in my, plug back in my work device. Boom, connectivity restored. But with send disable, uh, if they, let's say it is a, a device that you just solely want that to be connected, and if somebody tries to plug anything else in, you can shut down that port. So that send disabled, so that you, I'd rather do send alarm, but if there's like, if it's, if it's a port that you really want to lock down, you can disable it if anybody tries to plug anything else in except for that specific device. So we're just going to go back to send alarm return. So now, now that we have configure that we can do show port security and specify the port or actually let's do this so now we have port 2 has been configured now you can see port 25 is configured so that's a little brief or we could actually specify port 25 and then you can get more information so port 25 learn mode is static um, I currently have it plugged in, so information should already been sent. And address limit two, uh, and we have action send alarm. So it's already recognized the um, device. So this is the device, the main device that I want on there. So what I'm going to do really quickly, so I'm going to step away. I'm going to unplug the device that I've already had set in there to learn. And I'm going to plug in a separate. I'm going to plug in a separate laptop. Now I have the address limit set to two. So if we go back up here, now we have two. So it's learn those two. Um, let's say the um, port or that office or the needs of that individual has changed, and they only have one device. Another example is uh, we have these phones where the network connects to the phone and then the phone will feed network to the end device like a laptop or a a, um, a uh, desktop so let's say that's no longer the case uh, just a computer needs to be in there or we have the phone connected separately so let's say that this device right here is the one that we no longer need so now we have both of these devices learned. Um, let me double check. I do have working connectivity on that second laptop. So now we need a port security steps to remove authorized address. So we're going to go no port security. Specify the, the port that we're working with is port 25. Mac address and we're gonna eliminate this one so what I did is I highlighted that copied it and so now that one is removed or it should be removed 
so it's it should no longer take that port so no port security for that specific um, that was not me so we have that that is now configured so let's I'm gonna unplug and plug back in the original device dun, 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 dun. so boom that uh, we can also do port security 25 Mac address actually limit the address limit one so there so now if we go back to show port security 25, the original device that I just want connection to is now there. So let's say somebody tries to bring in a unauthorized device, an unauthorized laptop. So we'll go over here, we'll unplug, plug in the other device. So somebody nefariously plugged in their own machine machine so right now on that um, unauthorized device it just looks like it's searching for network and it's not going to pop up let's do short so it's still so it's limited to one mac address which has been already identified and we removed that other address from the um, second device so now well now you can check your logs so we're going to do show intrusion what so remove show display so show intrusion why is it not letting me do that why are you being that way Let's do show bases. Let's do let's exit from there. Now let's try. No? Huh. Weird. Show interfaces. Brief. So as you can see, intrusion alert. So there's nothing for two. Let's go down. So port 25, we see that there is an intrusion. So that second device that I plugged in is trying to get connectivity. And now it shows, hey, something was a miss here. Oh, you know what? Show port security intrusion log. There we go. That's what I want to show. You can see, so port 25, I uh, tested this earlier, but as you can see now that this right here is showing, hey, this device tried to gain access, and there's the log. So, da, 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 da. show port security intrusion log we already done that uh, we showed where to identify that in the brief um, we can now show that security 25 and shows the allowed Mac address uh, matter of fact let me plug that device back in to assure that I do have connection Come on, Mac. Okay, that has connection back to it. And now let's say that, um, let's say that this port is now no longer needing port security. Uh, the use of the room has changed and the way to 
turn off port security is to issue a no port security port security I'm having all kinds of issues no port security oh config there we go no port security 25 return if we arrow up go back to show port security now it has been removed and along with that mac address so no action no learn mode if we go back to show port port security uh, 2 is still in place and now 25 is no longer so there you have it so there's several different ways that this can be useful um, it gives you an extra layer of security for your um, network uh, better command and control over devices that is allowed on your campus or on your network so um, anyway if you have any questions uh, matter of fact let's do so that is show intrusion log um, if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below here is the uh, steps that I use to implement port security on a HP switch all anyway, right my name is illusions this was nerd relic and thank you for watching bye